I wanted to cut all this loading. Hello everyone and welcome to Serious Sam HD, the first encounter. Alright, first things first, I had a bit of a time trying to figure out which version I wanted to play. The first one I wanted to do was this one, but the version I currently have, well, the version I have on Steam, kind of glitches out a bit. And then I decided to look into Classic and Revolution. They're both pretty much the same thing, except for Revolution gives you a couple more options, like you can change up the HUD. But then I found out that Serious Sam Fusion came out, and it's available for anyone who currently has uh, any of the HD remakes. And as you can read right here, the third one's going to be added on here. Uh, Serious Sam 2 was is made on a completely different engine, so it's not going to be... Well, the current version that's on here is not going to be added. But they are. I think they are remaking it. They said so in the forums. Uh, we'll see what happens on there. Um, this might be like another long running thing. Who knows? Single player campaign. First encounter. I think this is the a demo level. Or well, I'm going to take a look at these uh, later because I can't remember if this is actually the demo level or if this is something else. I don't know. First encounter. As you can see, I've already played a little bit of it just to know what how it if it runs well. <clears throat> uh, for anyone who's never played Serious Sam, it's pretty much just an arcade shooter. Point A, point B, kill everything. I am just going to stick with normal because I'm not suicidal. And why not? At the dawn of the 21st century, mankind makes a startling discovery. Beneath the sands of the earliest known human civilization, traces of another even more ancient but technologically advanced civilization are uncovered. The profound scientific implications of this discovery leads humankind to the far reaches of the universe. Everything seems perfect, but too perfect to last. In the year 2104, human civilization is attacked by countless deadly monsters spawned from another dimension. In the battles that follow, humankind va fights valiantly, but nothing can stop the monsters from coming. Earth's forces are steadily defeated, planet by planet, from Alpha Centauri back to their own solar system. Because of this extreme brave, because of his extreme bravery in battling monsters, Sam Sirius Stone becomes a legend. Wounded countless times, but never defeated, Sirius Sam becomes a living symbol of the Earth's resistance against the advancing evil. But no matter how bravely the human armies fight, they are defeated time and again. Attempts to defend the, the solar system fail and the earth is now under direct attack. Humankind stares into the face of its own annihilation. World leaders must now turn to their last chance, an ancient artifact called the Time Lock, a relic from a long forgotten race imbued with the power to teleport a single person back in time. The choice of whom to send is obvious. First things first, uh, there is some voice acting in this during the game. Um, I don't think I'm going to read like the long info info dumps that the game gives, but I will put them up on screen for a couple of seconds for you guys to actually pause and read through them yourself. Now I should also mention this: uh, the game has a lot of secrets hidden into it. Considering this is an old 90s game, it makes it. Considering this is a 90s game and secrets were a big thing, it makes sense. I'll try to find as many as I can. There are a couple I do know about.
You know, I just remembered I forgot to do a three count. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty much the info dumps I was talking about. I'll leave these up for a few seconds so you guys can pause pause the video and actually read through them. You do gain a lot more info dumps as the game continues on. Uh, I don't know when I'll be showing these all showing more of these off. I might just leave it at this, just the beginning of each level. Who knows? But there's going to be a lot of them for enemies and a lot for weapons. Alright. Uh, sync counter in 3, 2, 1. Ready for battle. Alright. Uh, first secret, if you actually look around, is going to be a second pistol, which you can get pretty damn early. Alright, first things I should tell you is that the revolvers have no ammo count, so it's infinite ammo. But after the 12 shots, you will have to reload. Uh, there we are. Say hello to the creators of the game. Is there anything down here? If I remember correctly, there should be. Just rockets. Uh, I think this one should be able to open by itself. No, I do remember there's a way to open that one. I just can't remember how. Um, okay, I'm, not, I'm going to say this too. There's going to be a lot of cutting for this playthrough. How much? I think that's an item over there. Nope, that was just the graphic uh, messing with me. But if you are curious about how much I'm going to be cutting, there is actually a secret across the desert. I'm not kidding. Uh... Alright, you know, I'm going to go to the secret. Uh, future me, just cut this part off. Uh, cut back on to, well, you know when. What? That's new, I never hit a boundary. But then again, I've never actually gone out of my way in that direction. I'm going to actually need that secret now. And we're back. These are an enemy you meet much, much later in the game. But if you go out for this secret, you're going to have to deal with these now. A nice thing about the reticle is that it will actually show you how much health whatever you're shooting at uh, has. Uh, with green being um, full health and getting darker and darker as it lowers health. Alright, shotgun ammo, rockets, and a full, and a full health. A nice thing about these enemies is that you can actually shoot down the rockets if you can actually aim for them.
Alright, if I don't die, uh, future me, uh, cut, and then we'll meet back at the beginning. <laughs> and we are back. And one of the developers died. Whoever that was, I am very sorry. Ah, uh, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. I do remember there being a rocket launcher here, but like the issue is that I don't remember where it is. Could be up, up, up higher. If you actually are one of those people who just don't like shooting, uh, who don't like dual wielding, you can switch out with uh, the pistol button. Oh dear. Uh, I am not seeing it here. It might be on the other side. It's only six shots, but eh. Oh great. Cut. And we are back. I'm still looking for that rocket launcher. There it is. Now that's some serious firepower. Oh god damn it. Ah, I find it. I've got a cut again. And we are back. Now that I've got the rocket launcher, I can actually open up the other side. If you're wondering about them, um don't worry about it. Crow team owns. <laughs> hmm. You got armor and rockets here. Thought you get more. Oh well. So yeah, the first few secrets you can find in the first area are the developers themselves. Now let's get on with the game. Okay, well, I will actually mention this. Uh, actually no, because it will actually ruin your guys view and yeah. I'll, I'll mention it some other time, I don't know. They might actually fix it up, who knows. Oh, there's still more of them. Well, here's another secret, and I, it is actually one of my favorite ones to pick up. Yeah, the baby. double barrel. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. It's as it says... It's pretty much uh, the up, uh, one of the up better shotguns uh, besides the pump. The pump action shotgun, which you can get a... Uh, I think in the same level, if I remember correctly. It just has you firing two shots, uh, yeah, two shots at the same time. Alright, there's that revolver that you pick up. Yeah, it's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. There's all kinds of different pickups here, like these little ones are, again, uh, as you just saw, little one off armors. Okay. Here's a uh, full health restore. Oh no, it's just a 50 pack. This is a 15 health. 
Oh no, I think that might be quarter health. I can't remember right now. Because uh, I do I do remember picking up the pink ones, which uh, I can't remember how much they give. Uh, few, um, yeah, I can't remember how much they give. Here in the same level, you can also pick up the pump action. Uh, besides the double barrel, this is actually one of my more preferred weapons. Wow. I'll easily say this. Um, not my favorite enemy. And that is the first level. It's pretty short if you just go straight for it. But there are a lot of secrets. See, I, it says right there I actually missed one secret. There's also a... There's also a time limit to actually reach the end, and I actually didn't know I get negative time bonus. Okay. I introduced this game to a couple guys, and... This one segment... is his favorite. I won't lie, it's also my favorite too. Wow, that was clean for me. Those suiciders are the most memorable thing in this game. Well, I think it's the most memorable for me. I don't know about anyone else. But goddamn, are they the most annoying. Actually, no, oh, no, no. There's another secret here. They think there should be health over here. Alright. And... The message ate it. Okay. Actually, um, the shotguns and the next weapon we'll be picking up are, uh, are actually my favorites in this game. Anything there? No. Okay. Um. No, I don't think there's anything there. Okay, okay. You know what, actually, I'll be popping the thing up right now. Uh, how did I pop it open? Oh, we got a mouse button, right. It's more because I just want to read up on that one enemy that I'm not a fan of. 
and since I'm looking for it, which is right here, you guys can just pause and read up on the rest. I hate clears. These are the ones I loathe in this game. Oh, there's another one, but you'll see it when you'll see it, and one specific part. I'm over here, you stupid headless freaks. Now, this is a 90s game, so if there's gonna be secrets, there's gonna be traps. And a lot of tiny references like that. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, I'm I'm trying to remember like all the secrets and I know I think there might be one that involves destroying a statue. I don't know. First things first, let's pop this open for no secret. The Tommy gun. Shoot. I think I'm missing an enemy, I just I can't remember. I might be later on. Okay, so that one is a quarter health. Oh god. Damn, I thought I got that one. At least I was able to use it. Here's the next enemy where that's gonna be pretty damn annoying. I don't think I triggered it. Give me a second. Yeah, a lot of these are. A lot of enemies will pop up from triggers that you have to run into. Ah, hmm. oh, here it is! It's the ball. One by itself isn't too bad. In fact, I would actually suggest hitting everything around it before, uh, while dodging it, just so uh, you have an easier time. Oh sh! Ah, oh, damn! I when I was play when I was going through this the first time, I actually never triggered that one. Wow. Yeah, um, that's actually one of the issues I was talking about, that, uh, it's a, uh, Serious Sam Fusion is a beta, and from what I read up on, 
there are a couple of uh, of uh, issues with the spawning. Well, one of the issues with spawning. I don't know, I d or maybe it's just the autosave kicked in at the wrong time. I just got really lucky there and uh, didn't get stuck into an endless loop of uh, getting crushed. Four out of six secrets. From this point on, I think the number of secrets I'm going to be finding is going to be less and less. Mm. 